here's the driveway leading to the path that goes down to the teepee and camper. Down there there will be two hand carts that you can use to haul your gear from your car to the teepee and camper. You'll walk down this short path and you'll find the two hand carts we've provided for you to haul your gear from your car to the teepee camper site. When you arrive at the teepee camper site there's a couple things you're going to need to do in order to use the teepee. You're going to need to open the smoke flap. To do that you're going to lift up on the teepee smoke flap pole and walk it around to the back of the teepee. This will open the top and allow ventilation Walk around to the back part of the teepee while pushing forward on the pole, making sure that the flap opens. When you get to the other side, you're going to put the teepee smoke flap pole into the bracket located at the back of the teepee. Now the smoke flap is open. Here's how you put the smoke flap pole into the bracket. Pretty easy. The second thing you need to do is open the bottom part of the smoke flap. You do that by taking this rope unhooking it and walk around just like we did with the teepee pole that opens the bottom part of the smoke flap. and it ties down into the stake. Now the smoke flap is open and the teepee will ventilate. The next thing you need to do is open the teepee door. Simply untie the knots and roll the door up and tie the strings off to the poles on the side that will keep the door open. To tie the door up, simply cross the two pieces and tie the two poles together. This will hold the door open. So this is what the teepee will look like once it's set up and ready to go. Once inside the teepee, you'll find the queen size blow up mattress with mosquito netting and a full size sleeper futon also with mosquito netting. A wicker armoire for your clothing. and a small table to put your things. The teepee and camper are solar powered. If you should arrive and the power is off, simply push the button and now you're supplying power to the teepee and camper. There's a USB port for charging cell phones and a power strip for charging other devices as well. This will run a small fan inside the camper and inside the teepee for four to six hours before going dead. During the day it will run without any draining if it's a sunny day. But at night 
you're only going to get about four hours of power. There is an outdoor shower, a sink, and a hose available for you to use. They're all controlled by this simple system of on and off valves, each numbered according to what each valve does. This goes to the sink, outdoor shower, the spigot, and the hose. Make sure when you leave, they're all in the off position, which is up. There's an outdoor shower with hot water to use this. Come over to the control valves. Make sure number two is on. To turn the hot water on and off, use your thumb. You can control the heat and the flow here and here to turn it off. Use your thumb and it hangs back up. There is a propane fire pit. Very easy to use. Remove the cover. Turn on the gas. Turn on the gas again. Take a lighter and light the pit and you've got instant fire. There's also a stove with running water. To use this, go over to the control valve, find the sink which is number one, turn it on, there are also cutting board and dish rack and dish soap for washing up. There is a three burner propane stove inside the camper. To use this, you'll need to turn on the gas and then use a lighter to light it. 